One evening, a man was at home watching TV and eating peanuts. He'd toss them in the air and then catch them in his mouth in the middle of catching one. His wife asked him a question, and as he turned to answer her, a peanut fell in his ear. He tried and tried to dig it out, but succeeded in only pushing it in deeper. He called his wife for assistance, and after hours of trying, they became worried and decided to go to the hospital. As they were ready to go out the door, their daughter came home with her date. After being informed of the problem, their daughter's date said he could get the peanut out. The young man told the father to sit down then proceeded to shove two fingers up the father's nose and told him to blow hard. When the father blew, the peanut flew out of his ear. The mother and daughter jumped and yelled for joy. The young man insisted that it was nothing. Once he was gone, the mother turned to the father and said, That's so wonderful. Isn't he smart? What do you think he's going to be when he grows up? The father replied, From the smell of his fingers, our son-in-law. John and David were both patients in a mental hospital. One day, while they were walking, they passed the hospital swimming pool and... John suddenly dove into the deep end. He sank to the bottom and stayed there. David promptly jumped in and saved him, swimming to the bottom of the pool and pulling John out. The medical director came to know of David's heroic act. He immediately ordered that David be discharged from the hospital as he now considered him to be okay. The doctor said, David, we have good news and bad news for you. The good news is that we're going to discharge you because you have regained your sanity. Since you were able to jump in and save another patient, you must be mentally stable. The bad news is that the patient that you saved hung himself in the bathroom and died after all. David replied, Dr. John didn't hang himself. I hung him there to dry. <laughs> a mental institution, a nurse walks into a room and sees a patient acting like he's driving a car. The nurse asks him, Charlie, what are you doing? Charlie replied, driving to Chicago. The nurse wishes him a good trip and leaves the room. The next day, the nurse enters Charlie's room just as he stops driving his imaginary car and asks, well, Charlie, how are you doing? Charlie says, I just got into Chicago. Great, replied the nurse. The nurse leaves Charlie's room and goes across the hall into Bob's room and finds Bob sitting on his bed furiously wanking. Shocked, she asks Bob, what are you doing? Bob says, I'm screwing Charlie's wife while he's in Chicago. The guy who has a bad stutter goes to the doctor. He says, doctor, I have big to get rid of off my stutters. Can you ha help me? The doctor says, okay, let's do a complete physical on you and see what we find. The guy takes off his clothes and he's got a huge Mickey. The doctor says that's the problem right there. That weapon is so big it's pulling on your vocal cords and causing the stutter. We have several smaller transplants we can choose from and remove the big one. So the guy agrees and has the surgery. A month later he goes back to see the doctor and says, Hey doc, I can speak fantastically with no stutter, but my wife isn't satisfied so I'll need my old Roger back. The doctor says, fuck, fuck, fuck you, you. Johnny and Susie were playing undressed, wondering why they have different parts when Johnny got home. He asked his mother why he had a stick, and Susie had a hole. Johnny's mother said, oh, son, you have a Ferrari, and Susie has a garage. The time will come, and you'll park your Ferrari in her garage. When Susie got home, she asked her father why she had a hole and Johnny had a stick. Susie's father stated, you have a garage, and Johnny is just a sports car trying to park. Don't let him park in your garage. So a few days pass, and sure enough, Johnny and Susie are are playing undressed again when Johnny proudly stands up and says, Susie, let me park my Ferrari in your garage, to which he refuses. Johnny continues to insist on parking his Ferrari until Susie has had enough and goes home. When Susie gets home, her mother asks Susie, what's all that red stuff on your hands? To which Susie replied, Johnny tried to park his Ferrari in my garage, so I ripped the back wheels off. A young blonde lady went on a tour trip on an old steam train that took the passengers through mountains and tunnels. As the train approached a tunnel, the conductor hurriedly walked through the coach's warning passengers, tunnel ahead. Look out! The blonde quickly stuck her head out the window, and her forehead met with the concrete entrance of the tunnel. After being revived 15 minutes later, the blonde's words were, That stupid son of a bitch, he should have told me to look in. John goes to the dealey for some soup. After he's seated and about to eat, he calls the waiter over. When the waiter comes, he says, taste this soup. The waiter says, why, well, what's wrong with soup? John says, taste this soup. The waiter says, John, you've come in here for 30 years and you always get the soup. You've never complained before. John says, taste this soup. The waiter says, what? What is it? If you don't want the chicken soup, we have other kinds of vegetable, the Italian minestrone. John says, taste this soup. The waiter finally agrees. Fine, John, fine. I'll taste the soup. He leans over the table prepared to taste the soup. He hesitates and says, where's your spoon? Exactly, says John, where's my bloody spoon? <laughs> guy walks into a bar and goes up to the bartender. 
Just as the bartender is about to ask the customer for his order, he hears a phone ring. The customer puts his hand up to his ear and says, Hello? No, honey. I'll be home in 20 minutes. Love you, bye. The bartender says, What the heck is that? The customer replies, It's my hand phone. Give me your home number so you can try it. With that, the bartender gives him his home number, and the customer punches the numbers in on his hand and puts his hand up to the bartender's ear. Bartender's wife answers, and he was very amazed, says, I, Honey, just thought I'd call you and tell you I love you. Okay, bye. Bartender says, That's amazing. How do you get one? I'll tell you when I get back from the restroom. 30 minutes later, there is no sign of the customer, and the bartender is getting concerned, so he walks through the restroom to make sure the guy's open. When he enters, he finds the guy with his pants around his ankles, bent over with his palms on the wall, and a long piece of toilet paper hanging out of his bum. What the hell are you doing? Asks the incredulous bartender. Give me a second, the man replies as he grunts and groans. I'm getting a fax. Man goes to take out a loan. The loan officer comes over immediately. How can I help you, sir? He asks. I'm going out of town business for two weeks and need to borrow $5,000 is my answer. The loan officer tells him that the bank will need some form of security for the loan. So the man holds out his hand and opens his palm, saying, These are the keys to my car, which is sitting out front. Here are the documents as well. The loan officer peeks out the window and sees a brand new Ferrari parallel parked directly in front of the bank. One moment, please. The loan officer walks into a back office to consult with the president of the bank. Everything checks out. So after sharing a laugh with the president at this man, leaving a $750,000 car as security for a $5,000 loan, the loan officer returns and tells the man that they will happily accept the Ferrari. An employee of the bank then drives the car into the bank's underground garage and parks it. Two weeks later, the man returns and pays the $5,000 plus interest, which comes to $15.41. Sir, we are very happy to have your business. This transaction has worked out very nicely. But to be honest, we are a little bit puzzled. While you were away, we checked you out and found out that you are a multimillionaire. So what puzzled us is why you'd bother to borrow $5,000. The man replies, where else in Manhattan? And I parked my car for two weeks for just $15.41 and expected to be there when I return. An elderly married couple is having problems in the bedroom. So the wife goes to an toy store and asks the worker behind the counter what she can do to spice up her lovemaking. The worker suggests some private's underwear and takes her to see some. The wife looks at them and thinks they're perfect. She can't wait to get home and wear them for her husband. When she gets home, she finds her husband is still out. She makes her way up the bedroom to put on her new underwear. She eagerly waits for her husband to get home. After some time, she hears him come in. He calls out to her, where are you? I'm in the bedroom, dear. She replies. He makes his way up to the bedroom and sees his wife laying back in bed. Want some of this? She asks as she spreads her legs open to give him a nice view. Man takes one look and says, hell no. Look what it did to your underwear. 